Match of the season, 1972-73. Walsall nil, Halifax Town 1. The 1st of May, 1973. Just two years after going so close to Division 2, Halifax Town's third division survival, for the time being at least, rested on their last game of the season away at Walsall. The incredible thing was that going into the game they were still within a chance. For only three weeks earlier they had looked certainties for the drop when they lay next to bottom of the table, five points adrift of safety. Amazingly, after three consecutive home wins, the situation had dramatic alt- dramatically altered and Town travelled to Fellows Park knowing that victory and nothing else would ensure their survival, whilst condemning Rotherham to relegation along with Brentford, Swansea and Scunthorpe. Manager George Mulhall seemingly never had any of his doubts. On the day of the match he said, I am confident and so are the players that we can get a result, and by that I mean a win. We have to treat it as a home game since only two points will do. The only thing in town's favour was that Bill Moore's Walsall side had nothing to play for, having crossed the safety threshold with a couple of games left to play. Professional pride, however, would have prevented Walsall from simply handing town the points. A thousand or so Halifax supporters who made the journey to the Midlands were in Wonderland when Alan Roddle rose to head in Johnny Quinn's hanging cross in the 35th minute, but nerves were tested to the limit when, in the second half, Chris Jones fired wide from a dangerous position. Five minutes from time, Alex Self had to make a fingertip save from Sadler's sub, Brian Casewell. The Shermen hung on, their Houdini act complete, but for Hot for Rotherham it was a cruel way to be relegated. Goal average had decided the issue, with Town's more favourable 0.83 to Rotherham's 0.78, meaning Halifax stopped up by 0.05 of a goal. In the dressing room, apparently, Mulhall had his players observing two minutes silence for Jim McKerney's side but relegation would mean the Miller's boss would lose his job. Alan Waddle's goal, despite being only his third of the season, was probably the most important one he would ever score. But it turned out to be his last significant contribution in town's colours. During the summer, Liverpool manager Bill Shankly took him to Anfield, where relegation was a word never used.